Yeah, good week of that. Uh, what are y'all trying to um, you know work on this week heading into the last game? And uh, if y'all, you know, he's going to run the defense out there on uh, Sunday night. Yep, um, definitely trying to finish up a strong um, training camp. Good being back here in the branch. And uh, we went down, had a nice competitive week against Miami. And it was good to go against some different faces and uh, be able to compete against them guys. So looking forward to playing them later in the year. But, um, you know, definitely just trying to, you know, uh, push ourselves this week, you know. And it's good being back out in this in this Georgia heat, you know what I'm saying. We're too familiar with that. So I'm um, feeling good and just trying to, you know, dot all the I's and cross all the T's. This looked like a pretty intense um, Thursday practice. Was that kind of like, you know, trying to get on the regular season schedule? Yeah, without a doubt. Without a doubt. Definitely trying to get us acclimated to the regular season schedule. And uh, just based off how the whole schedule is built up, um, Coach Smith doing a good job of just laying it out so we can know early going into the season what to expect and have a mind right to prepare how we need to be ready to play our best on Sunday. How, how do you see things coming together? We talked to Dean Pease today. He talked about y'all up front learning all each other's spots and so forth. We said a little bit about that last week. Yep. Um, but how are y'all marrying everything together now? Yeah, the more, the more repetition, the better it gets, you know. Uh, we're going to have a lot of multiple looks, like Coach Pease say. And, uh, you know, wherever he want to put the guys where he, where he feels is going to be most effective and guys willing to learn and, you know, get, you know, there's no, no excuse for not knowing, you know, multiple positions and whether it's in the front end, the back end. So, um, so we can put the best group of guys out there together to have a successful um, defense. Jeff, so you like working in this Georgia heat? Oh, yeah, without a doubt. You got you to gotta like whether you like it or not. <laughs> I'm going to be in it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, I love it, you know, being – fortunate thing about being here in Georgia, you know, you get all four seasons, man. You know, people come here, they think it's only just hot like this all the time. We'd be like, when it get November, December, you know, hopefully we play into that February. It's going to be freezing. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we get all the seasons here with the Falcons, man. So just enjoying it, embracing it, how it come. I'm just saying, before a football season, though, is this training camp and heat like this, does it help you kind of mindset-wise, do you think? Or? Uh, yeah, without a doubt. Without a doubt, you know. Um, it's going to be rare where you get um, situations where – the heat going to be as intense as this. And, you know, some places you are, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, no matter what the climate is, you got to go out there and play the game. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's cool. We can cut it however we want to cut it. But on game day, you know, you got to be ready to play. I know last year you guys didn't have a preseason, but this year you do. You guys, the veterans, haven't had any chances to get any reps. What has it just been like for you kind of watching? Has it been different trying to watch the game in the preseason? And are you hopeful that you get in this, this preseason? Um, you know, be, having a preseason back has definitely been good for all the teams across the league. You know, you get to see some guys who want to have an opportunity to play more and go out there and see what they can do on game day because it's different from when you're on the practice field to the game field. So that's been good being in a supportive role and whatever it may be. And um, as far as finishing up the preseason, you know, whatever coach feels best is what we're going to do for everybody. So, um, so I mean, I'm, I'm excited to get, get things going, whether it's, you know, this weekend or, the, you know, on the, um, when we play 12th. So um, I'm, I'm excited just to have football back, have fans in the stadium, um, going on my seventh year with the team. Man, this is just, you know, I'm thankful for every moment. Scott, you've, uh, you've been you prepped for several seasons. Do you feel like you're right where you need to be, like where your body just needs to be in terms of getting prepped? Like, are you at the spot where you're Oh, yeah, absolutely. Right? Absolutely. I'm ready to go whenever. I could like to show up, ready to go. Um, you know, ain't no, ain't no shape like being in football shape, so obviously, um, through the weeks of training camp, you know, being your body up, pushing it to points. You got to go through that every year to get acc acclimated to be season ready. But, you know, I feel good, ready to go, feeling healthy, and, um, you know, ready to take it how however it go, how long it takes. Uh, how, how has uh, Dante Fowler been coming along uh, from, from uh, your advantage? And also, being paired with him, do you think that could be kind of a, a fun and dangerous combo? Yeah, without a doubt, without a doubt. Um, it's been good. Um, being out there with Dante on uh, second year playing together and just watching him grow as a player day in and day out. And um, him along with all the other guys across the defensive line, we want to put, you know, put rushes together, put packages together where we all can have some success and, um, you know, basically work off each other. And we all need each other to have success. So everybody playing at a high level is going to be very key. I probably talked about your fit within Dean's scheme and things like that, but kind of getting to work with him over this extended stretch, you, know, you find that you're – Enjoying it more and more, how would you kind of assess just working with him over this? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. You know, I enjoy playing the game, you know. Um, fortunate to work under Coach P, you know, and whatever he asks me to do, I'm going to do it at 110%. And, um, you know, wherever they need me, you know, I'm always trying to show up. So, 
Uh, but at the basis of everything, man, whenever I got an opportunity to play the game of football, I'm happy, you know, and uh, go out there and compete. And, you know, this just fall right in line with that. And, uh, you know, I'm going to be who I am, do what I do. And um, at the core of that, that's doing what they need me to do. Chris, yeah, what's on your thigh pad? Is that always something you wear? Just my face on your thigh pad? This is, this is a brand of the thigh pad. I don't, I'm not sure. You might, you might be giving them a shout out. So. <laughs> 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 I I, you you got a better look at it than me. I just slide them right in there. <laughs> I, I, I do. I think I do want some of them custom ones, though. You know, that's a good little idea. You know, now they make the custom ones with you. You do your number, logo, or some Falcon, little Falcon logo. So, yeah, yeah, they got they got everything now. <laughs> yeah, they got everything. I don't know. You know, at, you know me. I always was you know produce high on the field. You know, but off the field, you know. You know, it, I, it, take, it come how it come. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, I just, I, I, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I plan on making my money at, at this level like I'm doing now. So I'm, I'm, uh, <laughs> so I'm, I'm excited to be where I'm at. I'm actually happy for the kids now in college to be able to, you know, have the opportunity to make some bread. And, you know, I'm seeing all the Clemson guys, everybody eating Bojangles now. So, <laughs> so, so, man, you know, shout out to them. You know what I'm saying? So. It's good to see the guys, young high school guys, college guys, be able to have the opt to make some men, make some money. So I mean, it's always good to see growth. I was at the C media days when they Bojangles was right after oh. the day. Oh, Bojangles brought all the stuff. Oh man, Bojangles tearing up the college game, man. They 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 they, they pouring some money into the college football. I ain't, I ain't mad at them though. I ain't mad at them. Very serious question: Who has the better straw hat in the group right now? The better straw hat. Ooh. I don't know, y'all can't, but Liv, got that purple on in the, in the front. <laughs> I ain't going to lie, that purple kind of cold, you know what I'm saying? Only because the Tigers got a little purple in there, so I'll go with that. I'll go with that. Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate y'all, man. How you